Hello guys, this is Arvind here from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session on DevOps in 2020. So before we move any further, let us quickly have a look at the agenda for today's session. Firstly, we'll be starting with what are the technology trends related to DevOps in the year 2020. And then we will discuss what are the skills that are required for you to transform into a complete DevOps professional. Then we will talk about the adoption trends of companies as far as DevOps is concerned. And then we will talk about the DevOps engineer salary. And finally, we will talk about the certification course that is offered from Edureka. I hope I'm clear with the agenda, guys. Pretty simple. Just a reminder in case you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do subscribe and also hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update from Edureka. And also, if you're someone who's looking for a course in DevOps, then you can find the link for that course in the chat box. So, without any further ado, let us begin with our first topic. So if you talk about the DevOps technology trends in 2020, the first and foremost thing that comes to my mind is the security aspect of DevOps, which is also known as DevSecOps. So security gets more priority in the development life cycle ever than before. Security becomes everybody's responsibility rather than just the security experts. Even though the word DevSecOps seems like just another buzzword, it is required to give more importance to security. DevSecOps creates security awareness and a shared knowledge base within the organization to tighten the security in the software development process. If you talk about the Capital One breach, which happened a few months ago, it made cloud security a concerning factor and hence the focus is on securing data in the public cloud. Samsung Note 7 disaster explains a lot why security is so crucial at the beginning of the process and at each stage of the development life cycle. Specialists speculate that one of the problems with Note 7 phones involved its battery management system. This system monitors the electric current and stops the charging process when the battery is full. A fault in this system let the battery cell to overcharge, become unstable, and eventually explode. This bug fix cost Samsung nearly 17 billion US dollars. Had the company caught the issue earlier, they could have saved a lot of money and the brand reputation. So this was the security aspect of DevOps. The next trend that we are going to discuss is the artificial intelligence or the machine learning thing in DevOps. The software development life cycle is revolutionized with the DevOps methodology, cloud native approach and microservices architecture. DevOps integrates testing and production environments and developers get to see the problems before applications go live. Applying AI and ML to the DevOps pipelines can help you run builds and automation in a much better with closer insights and control. People are moving from DevOps to data ops and AI ops, which focus on the use of artificial intelligence and machine learning to learn from the logs and monitoring metrics to drive DevOps in a controlled fashion. Tools like MOOCsoft and Big Panda are market pioneers in AI ops that collect data from different monitoring and logging systems. Apply artificial intelligence to it and provide the engineer with more detailed insights and actionable data. DevOps is maturing with AI making life simpler for developers, operation guys, and the DevOps engineers. The next trend that we are going to talk about is the automation. In today's world, everything happens over the internet. Most companies are changing to be like an IT company that provides some particular services. For example, Booking.com was a travel company which now functions as an IT company that provides travel services. For every company, the software is the critical element that brings in sales and business. Hence, automation of software deployment and infrastructure provisioning is the key to all modern businesses. It plays a crucial role in improving efficiency and brings out the best software. DevOps methodologies does play a significant role in all the modern companies today. Moving on, let us discuss a few things about the trends in the containers. In 2019, the world of DevOps is being shaken by the container orchestration platforms. Container orchestration mechanisms are so powerful that they can grow to replace configuration management tools like Ansible, Chef, and Puppet. Kubernetes is today the best known and the most widely used container orchestration system, but many more are yet to hit the industry. If appropriately implemented, Container orchestration systems can simplify the infrastructure provisioning and many of the complexities around it. The DevOps world will have to adopt this new method of infrastructure as code. 
the industry will also move towards standardizing the frameworks for software versions, minimizing the need for software configurations. For example, companies can release different Docker images of the same software with different configurations as per the needs of the customer. Thus, the need for configuration management tools will significantly get reduced. The next trend here is the serverless architecture. It is a boom time in serverless with Google's functions, Microsoft Azure functions, and IBM's OpenWhisk all offering their serverless solutions following the 2014 rollout of AWS Lambda. Startups too will see the cost cutting upside and the agility that serverless brings. The changes in the application development and the architecture in the cloud as a result of serverless are hard to overstate. With the vendor solutions now on offer, developers are freed up to do what they most like to do, run code and add functionality to their applications faster without worrying about scaling and availability. Like microservices, serverless will now see a huge upsurge in usage as the age of monolith fades away. And the last trend that we are going to discuss is the cloud. The multi-cloud approach will flourish in the year 2020. The majority of enterprises have a hybrid cloud strategy. Many of the applications are returned to run on premises and off premises and potentially on multiple public cloud environments. Google's cloud services platform Anthos is just an amazing validation that multi cloud is going to be too flexible and cost effective for software firms. Azure and AWS being the leaders in this space are going to dictate the multi cloud future. So according to recent right scale report, it is seen that 84% of the enterprises have already implemented multi cloud strategy. So these were the technology trends related to DevOps that we can witness in the year 2020. And now let us talk about the skills that are required for you to be a DevOps professional in the year 2020. So the first and foremost skill that I'm going to discuss is the Linux fundamentals and scripting. As a DevOps professional, you might have to provision your infrastructure. Therefore, in order to automate it, you should at least know one scripting language. Most of the companies have their environment on Linux. Also, many CM tools like Puppet, Chef, and Ansible have their master nodes on Linux. To become a DevOps engineer, you must be aware of Linux fundamentals and knowledge on one scripting language is necessary. Scripting language can be any. Say, for example, Python, Ruby, Perl, and so on. The next skill that we are going to discuss is the knowledge on various DevOps tools and technologies. So as you can see on the screen, these are the various tools that are required in DevOps. So DevOps involves various phases and there are multiple tools available for those stages. You should have good knowledge on these development, testing and deployment technologies. So as you can see on the screen, these are the tools that are required for DevOps and it is expected that you should have hands on experience with these tools. OK, so the next skill here is the CI CD or the continuous integration and continuous delivery. So knowledge on various tools is not enough. You should also know where to implement these tools. So these tools should be used in order to facilitate continuous integration and continuous delivery. Even continuous deployment in few cases, but continuous deployment is not considered as a good practice. So as you can see this diagram here, this diagram represents the CI CD pipeline. And the next and the most important skill that we're going to discuss here is the infrastructure as code. So infrastructure as code or IAC is a type of IT infrastructure that operations team can automatically manage and provision through code rather than using a manual process. Infrastructure as code is sometimes referred to as programmable infrastructure. With the advent of IAC, the line between a developer and a sysops guy is getting blurred. So there are multiple tools available for this, such as Puppet, Chef, Ansible, SaltStack, and so on. So this is one of the most critical skills that you need to have in order to be a complete DevOps professional. So the next skill that we are going to talk about is the soft skills. Whenever developers and operations staff communicate with each other clearly, they not only develop and release software in time with good quality, but can also help in marketing the application with lower costs and better quality. A DevOps professional also sometimes help in cultivating positive relationships with the business and the customers. Those interested in the field 
need to be able to listen attentively negotiate solve problems and build teams so these were the skills that are required in the year 2020 for you to be a complete devops professional so guys i hope that you are understanding whatever we are trying to discuss here so let's now move on and talk about the devops adoption trends in the year 2020 so if you refer to this diagram on the screen that is present right now you can see that 81 percent of the enterprises are using devops practices along with 70 percent of small to medium sized businesses okay so there are multiple reasons for this increase in devops adoption practices and this trend is going to increase in the year 2020. so the various reasons are automated delivery pipeline facilitate the release of small features more frequently also there is increase in adoption of microservices architecture the next reason is the lower failure rate of new releases and shortened lead time between fixes and the last point here is the faster mean time to recover in the event of new release crashing so because of these reasons devops will be adopted by more and more organizations in the year 2020 moving on now let us talk about the devops engineer salary so as you can see this diagram on the screen right now so this diagram shows an increase in the salary of devops professional so if you talk about the geographical distribution of salary for a devops engineer so the table that you can see on the screen this represents the salary based on the location here so as you can see here for bangalore location the entry level salary for a devops engineer starts from 3.25 lakhs and it can go up to 19 lakhs depending upon the background and the experience of the candidate so similarly you can see for the other cities such as london new york chicago seattle so these are the salaries and this is the average salary here so now if you talk about the salary on the basis of company so as you can see here these are the various companies such as ibm tcs cognizant accenture cape gemini amazon infosys so these are the salaries depending upon your experience and background so now we have come to the end of this session where we will be discussing the devops certification from edureka so the devops certification training from edureka is one of the top notch training be it quality of the content be it the trainers that we have for this course they are amazing so you guys can have a look at the edureka's website for more details about this course and these are the features of the training that is provided for devops from edureka so guys if you want to be a successful devops professional devops certification training from edureka will definitely help you in the long run so with this we have come to the end of this session here i hope you have enjoyed this session if you have any queries you can write them in the chat box below and my team is here to help you with all your queries thank you so much i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning